So the place I record in is my second bedroom, my office, and my laundry room, which is why there's a load of clothes behind us. But welcome back to the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Genoa in today's episode. We've got a tough tie against third placed Sassuolo, and then hopefully an easy one against Brescia. So following on from the back-to-back -back defeats in the last episode, we then got smashed 4-1 by Sampdoria away from home. I was thinking, this is it, isn't it? We had a, around this time last year in the in the save, we got beat like six or seven games on the bounce. I felt it coming again. Manolo Gabbiadini got four goals in what was a pretty even game going by the match stats. Thiago Almada with the only goal for us. But that wasn't what happened. We bounced back with a 1-0 home win against Roma. Adam Klozek getting a 92nd minute winner to give us the three points. We then went away from home against AC Milan and won 3-1. Adam Klozek with a brace and an own goal from Teo Hernandez. And then Roma Agnoli got sent off in the 47th minute. Herrera got a late goal for them, but again, we dominated. And finally, it was a 4-1 home win against Torino. Almada, Carmo and Hlozek with a brace. He had one disallowed as well, so he could have got his hat-rick. Bonazzoli with the only goal for them in the 88th minute. And that sees the Serie A table looking like this. We are still in second place. We are now eight points behind Juventus. But we do have a game in hand, so we could close that gap. But more importantly, we are four points clear from Atlanta in fourth with a game in hand. That's what we're keeping an eye on. Adam Plozek, 23 goals for the season so far in Serie A. Absolutely phenomenal. A 7.52 average rate and top scorer in the league. Absolutely loving life with him. But as I mentioned, the first game today, year, second versus third, away from home. Let's see how we get on. Unfortunately for us, one of our best players, Carlos Alcaraz in the centre of midfield, is injured for today's game, so he won't feature. Uh, Casata comes in for him in the centre of midfield. Other than that, it's pretty much full strength. Uh, all the regular faces that you know and love. Let's see how we get on against Sassuolo. Let's see what they're doing. A 4-2-3 one for them. Jeremy Borga, Domenico Baradi. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. Probably going to have to man-mark him out of the game, actually. He's a pretty well-rounded winger. But as you can see, a full-strength uh, back line. Giglione coming in for Sardella at right back. It's just performing better right now. And uh, let's get the kickoff. So we're getting to the business end of the season now. And the top four is definitely a massive, massive possibility as long as we don't go on some absolutely dreadful run and we just keep doing what we've been doing, I don't see three teams catching us to knock us out of the top four this season. It all depends on Hlozek, to be quite honest with you. When he's not performing, we don't perform. First highlight of the game is Melagioni with a corner. It's cleared by Locatelli and Berardi. Melagioni is going to be the first man to it though. Munoz punts it up to Hlozek who brings it down nicely, but Locatelli's decent challenge sets away Borgo who set... Oh well, he tries to set away Caputo. Sport Yellow is there. Oh, big kick over the top. Thiago Almada is in behind. And he's finishing, lets him down. Corner for us, Melagioni to take it. Is Carmo there? He's not. So we dominated the first 10 minutes, but we have another highlight. And it's a corner for Sassuolo. And Moise Keane is going to get there first. And he's going to be able to start a counter-attack. He sets away Thiago Almada once again. He's not the man you want on it. You want this man, Hlozek, at the back post. Can he find him? Good challenge by the Sassuolo defender, though. Berardi with the ball over the top this time. David Carmo uh, deals with it well. Sassuolo keep the ball in and attack down this right-hand side. Locatelli bringing it forward. Caputo, nice little interplay by them. Giglione, <sighs> almost a suicide ball. Moise Keane brings it down well. Can he find the pass? He can. Hlozek, he's in behind. The keeper stays on his line. Oh, what a finish. That is beautiful. The, I thought the keeper had done well not coming out for that. He did step off his line a couple of yards. And Adam Hlozek as well and truly took full advantage of that. He's 28th goal of the season. Oh, that is the best finish we've seen all season. Another highlight now. Corner once again for us. Sassuolo get a clear. And they're going to be the first man at the ball. It's two versus three. Enel, fantastic, fantastic challenge. The highlight's still going. Sassuolo have held the ball well between their defence and midfield. And they do find that killer ball over the top. Caputo was in behind. Sporty Yellow does it fantastically. And again, to catch it. Enel with the free kick. It's only 20 minutes. It feels like it's been at least 45. Giglione on this right-hand side. Can he get a decent whip in? He finds Melagioni in the box. Back out to Giglione. Where's the cross? Hlozek's there. Good block by the defender. And that was probably the chance unless Sassuolo are going to have a counter-attack of dreams. Borga, well done. Milan Bedell. He's in for Belmont, who's suspended. I will take that all dear. Another highlight now. Half an hour gone. And every, <laughs> everything seems to be a highlight right now. Bedell. Melagioni can't get his head on it. And will be the first man there. He's got Giglione on this right-hand side. Oh, big punt over the top. Moise Keane's in behind. Now, that would have been 
probably the second best goal of the season if that had went in. Moyes Keane tries to find Hlozek. It's a poor ball in the end. And Caputo sent him behind. David Carmore gets there first. I would really like a second goal here. We've had a lot of the advantages and a lot of the highlights. But uh, Bar uh, Berardi and Core definitely look dangerous in the final third. Borg is in the box. Poor finish. Oh, Jesus. There's another highlight. Hlozek can't get there before Ferrari. And uh, Sassuolo can come in. Caputo's in behind again. Oh, he's got a pass. Sport a sport yellow should have saved that. He got his hand to it. He just couldn't quite keep it out. Francesco Caputo's 17th goal of the season. We're going to go back attacking. Um, I do want to see this again, actually, to see whether Sportiello really should have saved this. It was a fantastic strike. Uh, Borgo with the ball through Caputo on the edge of the area. And Sportiello... Uh, he should do better with that, shouldn't he? Oh, don't do this to me, Sassuolo. Locatelli whips it in. Berardi's there. Munoz clears. Uh, who's this? Farago on the right-hand side. Can he whip it in? Berardi's there. Big save by Sportiello. He's kept us in it. Sportiello. I know it was. I know I've just been criticising him for the goal, but he has made a couple of fantastic saves. We're in behind though. Moise Keane, Almada. Almada's finishing is really a concern. The highlight continues with Borger coming down the left-hand side. The strike's poor, and um, we're getting away with this a little bit here. I mean, looking at the match stats, we do deserve to be in front, maybe. Um, but Sassuolo have really turned it on this second half of the first half. Berardi picks up the loose ball on the edge. It's played in. Jeremy Borger's there. And now we have it. It has been coming. Sassuolo 2, Genoa 1. 45 minutes gone. Big second half needed. The highlights for the first half aren't over. I was sure they were. We have ourselves another one. Sassuolo with the ball in the defence. Let's hope we can pinch it and get a goal back before half time. Borger cuts in. He dances through three of our players and goes for goal. It's a poor strike in the end. Jesus, that was a long first half. Sassuolo 2. Um, us one. I'm not happy with the performance, boys. I've got to remember, Sassuolo are a good side, sitting in third in the league, Quali looking to qualify for the Champions League, same as us. But um, after that first like 20, 25 minutes, I thought we were sh for sure on top and for sure we're going to win. Um, not quite likely right now. Sassuolo two, Genoa one, second half, first highlight of its 48 minutes in, and we are in possession. Melodjoni finds Moise Keane. Come on, Moise! Oh, he's at the post, Lozek. Yes, Adam Hlozek doesn't make the mistake. Moise Keane's been quiet recently. Very, very quiet. Hlozek has picked up the slack, though. He's 29th goal of the season. Levels things up. Let's get to the next highlight. I am on key highlights, right? I am on key highlights. It feels like I'm on extended. Bedell with the ball over to the left-hand side for Munoz. Finds Moise Keane in the box. Uh, he hasn't got many options there. He goes, tries to get past his man, Gold, Goldeniga. Was that the man who was at us last season? Get, gets the challenge in. And Berardi can clear. Oh, Borger with an excellent touch to get a pass Giglione on the right-hand side. Caputo was in behind. Surely that was offside, referee. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't offside. Sassuolo 3, Juno 2. Melagioni with a free kick for us. It's poor. Highlight continues. Hlozek's played in behind by Giglione. Hlozek. What was that touch, mate? Absolutely dreadful. Almada fades it through to Hlozek again. This is the same highlight. Kragno with an easy save. Oh, Hlozek's picked up a knock. That is not a good piece of news. Borger picks up the ball for Sassuolo. Going to have to get... I'm, I'm going to take him off now. I know this highlight's continuing. They might end up scoring. We'll bring on Eldor up top. Um, if he's injured for any length of time, we might be in major, major trouble as Borger comes down this left-hand side. Enel can't get the challenge in. Locatelli's on the edge. Strikes. Goes wide. 67 minutes gone now. Moise Keane picks up. The loose Barley's pass is absolutely dreadful. We do have a weak inside. Uh, obviously lost Thomas Belmont and Alcaraz for today's game. But I don't, oh, I don't know what's happening. Moise Keane, lovely through ball by Almada. Can you do it this time, Keane? Second time of ask. Oh my God, Moise Keane. I'm so looking forward to getting rid of you and signing Esposito. Casada. Ah, Casada. Oh, poor ball, man. Poor ball. And Sassuolo win it. Melagioni. He's, Almada's in that pocket of space all the time. If we can find them, we really will start causing them some issues. Munoz coming down the left-hand side. Finds Moise Keane. No, he doesn't. Oh, Moise Keane brings it down nicely after sport yellow clears. He's got a lot of work to do on this left-hand side. He gets past one. Whips it in. Almada. Casada. Oh, it's cleared by the defender. 20 minutes to go. We need a goal. I want a point out of this. Locatelli coming down the left-hand side for Sasha Waller. Doesn't look like the, this highlight is over. Bedell with a good challenge. Don't get sent off, Bedell. Going very attacking for the last 15. Let's see who's struggling out there. Milan Bedell 
I'm going to bring on Storaro for him in defensive midfield. He's on a yellow. Um, he's struggling for fitness, so I don't want to risk him getting sent off. Giglioni with the ball in Eldor. The ball's played over the top for Moyes Keane. How many chances does he need to deal? I do not know. Um, what's his, his average range is 7.8. I know he got an assist, but he has missed so many chances. I, I don't know how it's calculated. Corner. Mella Joni to play it in. It's cleared. Stefano Storaro is going to be the first man to the ball. Back out to Mella Joni. Whips it in again. Almada hits the post. Moise Keane. <laughs> I don't know what to say. If we haven't got Adam Hlozak on the pitch, we just can't score. None of the rest of our boys have got any finishing capabilities. Apart from Eldor. Yes, El he's offside. The whistle's been blown, boys. We're going to VAR. We know it's disallowed. So let's just carry on with the rest of the game, please. How we've only scored two goals in this game, I will never know. How Sassuolo only scored three, I will never know. But we fall to defeat against our rival in third place. And uh, that bang goes our advantage. Let's move on to the next game. <laughs> How long is this video? I have no idea. Move on to the next game. Brescia at home, 18th place. Please win. Where's Flozek injured for one to two days? That's fine. Upon reflection, we were definitely unfortunate in that game. A uh, couple of changes before this Brescia game. Belmont returns into defensive midfield. Alcaraz remains out um, of the centre midfield, so Kasata keeps his place. But other than that, Hlozek has returned for today's game, so we'll, we'll be able to score goals if we give him the ball. Let's see how we get on. 18th place Brescia at home. Let's see what happens. Takes 22 minutes to get our first highlight in this game. I think we've already had about 10 in the Sassuolo game at this point. It's Brescia on the attack down this left-hand side. Matayu. Plays it back to Longcar on the edge of the box. It's whipped in. De La Vega over the top. Highlight now. 37 minutes in. Melagioni plays it out to Munoz on the edge. It's cleared by Brescia. And David Carmo has got the long walk to get the ball. We work it well to Melagioni. Who's ball over the top for Flozek is poor. And uh, it's going to be Brescia on the attack with Strafeza on this right-hand side. He's got options. Uh, the right-back, Fockett. Aye, one of them. He whips it in. De La Vega's there. Over the top again. Can, can I have a highlight for me? Can I have a highlight that's uh, us attacking and really making a good go of it? Let's see. And now, picking up the ball from Sporty Yellow. We've got a lot of work to do to get this into our attacking chance. Casada picks it up from Melagioni. Moise Keane getting involved on this left-hand side. He's got Munoz's back up, but he gets past his man. Finds Casada on the edge. Hlozek's in the box, and Adam Hlozek does not miss. He's 30th goal of the season. 1-0 Genoa, just before half-time. And we do get a half-time out, 1-0. A pretty poor game so far, to be quite honest with you. We'll kick off for the second half and see if our boys can pick it up a notch. Another highlight now. Mela Joni tries to play the ball over the top. It's cleared by Brescia. And there is a chance for them to break, although they don't really commit too many men forward once they're in possession. But uh, they work it slowly up the field, let's say. They do manage to get down this left-hand side with Terra Grossa. It's got three men in the box to aim at. Sport Yellow claims the cross. The highlight continues with Melagioni and Casata playing it about nicely in the midfield. Anel with the ball over the top. Thiago Almada's in behind. He is not offside. He's seventh goal of the season. That was a beautiful finish from a very tight angle. Do you know what to brush your nil? This is more like a boys as well, like you see. Obviously against worse opposition, but uh, definitely a lot more clinical than last game. 15 minutes to go. We'll look to make our changes. Casata can come off for uh, Sturaro in the midfield. Melagioni... Uh, I'll bring on Bedell. I'll bring him on. Giglione can come off as well for Sardella. Made all three subs. Hopefully we don't get an injury at this point. Is this actually a highlight? Uh, Munoz whipping it in. Melagioni's on the edge. Out of Giglione just before he comes off. Can he provide a little moment of magic? Almada to Moyes. He's offside. It wasn't a highlight. Time is ticking away and running out for Brescia. 87 minutes in. And we are on the attack. Thomas Belmont. Got Sardella in a lot of space there. If he wants to find him, he does. How's the first touch? It's all right. Can he uh, get the whip in? No, he can't. I think out of all of our summer signings, uh, maybe Sardella has been the worst one. <laughs> uh, I think both of our fullbacks really weren't top, top quality. Whereas the likes of Hlozek, um and the centre-halves, I think, were really, really good. Oh, brush your in behind. Donnarumma. Well... Now that's a turn up for the books. Genoa 2, Brescia 1, his ninth goal of the season. Can we hold on for the final few minutes? They're down to 10 men as well. Oh my god, do not do this to me right now. Genoa 2, Brescia 1, the other highlight with 4 minutes remaining. They're down to 10 men, the 18th in the league. 
hopefully, uh, I feel like it's coming. I feel like there's a draw coming. Maybe not. Bedell wins the ball. Moyes Keane's in behind. Tight angle. He buries this one. He couldn't score for Toffee last game. He's 11th goal of the season. And that's surely now the three points wrapped up. Genoa three, Brescia one. And there we have it. Full time, three points. Happy with that. Uh, much better performance than Sassuolo game. Much more clinical from the boys. And we've avoided injuries, which is the main thing. We've got Atlanta coming up next to so we're in fifth, which will be a difficult, difficult game. So we need a full strength side out for that. So after that result, we are in third. We are level on points with Sassuolo in second. And we've got a pretty similar record as well. They must have scored more goals than us. Art goes down head to head actually in Syria. So that's why they're above us in the league. We were above Napoli in the league level on points though, and we are four points clear from Atlanta in fifth. So the gap has closed after that Sassuolo defeat. And I think any dreams of trying to catch you via top of the league are probably best left to next season. Looking forward to the next episode though. It is going to be Inter Milan and Juve two massive games. Inter having a poor season after winning the league last year. And of course Juve at home after we've already beaten them away. So hopefully more of the same please. If you have enjoyed today's episode though, boys, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.